Hey, 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 everybody. So having a little bit of, of um, what we call the uh, technological difficulties, right? So sometimes it happens. All right, guys. Now I should be live on my Facebook page. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Am I live? Am I live? I am live. <laughs> okay, guys. So Marty is live now on her Facebook page. I should be live. Can somebody let me know <laughs> if I'm live? Am I live? Am I live? Okay. So let me see. Let me see. Um, there I am. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Yay. So just a round of applause. Yay! Right? <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Mondays with Marty. And today, guys, I really want to talk about this um, issue because I've had a, quite a few questions asked me. Today's episode is about what is the difference between a coach and a mentor and which one do you need right now? Because you're going to need both throughout your business. So first I want to address the fact that you really need to understand that it's not an if, it's not a if it's not an if this or that, but it's more like a when do I need it? What season of my business and my growth am I in that I will need one or the other, or sometimes both? Okay. So once again, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so happy that you are here. This is Marty Angel, Latina business coach. And uh, today we are talking about what the difference is between coaching and mentoring and why you actually will need both throughout your um, business life, but why you will actually need one or the other throughout the growth of your business. So I want to, I want to make sure that you understand coaching and mentoring both exist for the same purpose. The purpose is to help others grow, develop, and reach their full potential. Now, crucially, both methods give you the opportunity, you, the individual, to take responsibility for your own development. As we say in Spanish, Simón que yes, right? So let's talk, what's the difference between a mentor and a coach? A mentor, let's go with mentor first. A mentor is somebody who can guide you, who can advise you, who can support you to be the best you you can be. And they take time to really understand you and the way you work and the challenges that you're facing in your life and in your business. And then they advise you based on what they understand and generally how they've come through similar circumstances. Now, this can also be done as a mentor. You can also do this with your coaching books, with your videos, with your memberships. For instance, I am part of the Miracle Membership and I is Gabby Bernstein and I love that. She's a mentor. Now I don't get a one-on-one -on -one and, and um, she really doesn't coach me personally, but she mentors me by her videos, her books and things like that. So that's what a mentor really is. A mentor can is like a relationship that has the potential, guys, to last a lifetime and perhaps even result in a friendship. And even if you initially get a mentor with a support to support you in a specific goal, once you've made that connection, usually it ends in friendship. Yep. So you know, you may reach out to them again in the future. So a mentor is very much like a friend. Mm -hmm. Una mentora puede ser tu amiga. Y mentoring tends to be longer term than coaching. Mentoring has a more personal and informal nature. 
In network marketing, guys, in the business of network marketing, your mentor can be someone you admire, the way they handle themselves, what they what they say. Maybe you've been to an event and you just love the what the, you know what they stand for. It could be their values that you align with, and you see how they interact with others, and you call on them to help with certain situations, and there is no charge. So mentorship usually gives you free advice. And usually, guys, the role of a mentor is to listen, learn, and advise. It's about pointing that mentee, you, in the right direction, really. It's about making sure that you stay on the straight and narrow. So I see very much like when you're in high school, a mentor could be your counselor. A mentor could be your teacher. A mentor could be your, uh, you know, your, uh, let's say you belong to a club. It could be the club advisor, right? So I want you to realize that. And a mentorship is somebody that, you know, has, has, may not have walked the path that you're walking, but they can understand and they can guide based on experiences that are similar, right? Now, let's talk about what a coach is. A coach, guys, a coach is someone who can upskill you, your, you know, and train you in specific development areas. A coach is somebody that has more skills than you and has walked the path and has been where you want to be right? So let's say you want a five-figure income and that coach has made it and has, uh, you know, proven results. That's a coach that can, that's walked the path, right? If you want a six-figure income, you want a coach that's made it six figures. Be real careful though. Six figures can go from 100,000 to 999,000. So you've got to be real discerning in how you pick your coaches because you're going to pay them, guys. You're going to pay them. And so a coach, uh, they actually identify and prioritize your improvement areas and they break down, they help you break down your end goal into smaller pieces so that they can work with you and shape and grow your mindset. So you hire a coach sometimes when you're in a fixed mindset and you want to become an open mindset kind of person because people that grow businesses need an open mindset, guys. So compared with mentoring, coaching is typically more structured and tailored to specific outcomes. Maybe you want to grow your team. Maybe you want to grow your tribe. There are certain strategies, techniques, and especially now with technology, are they technologically savvy that they can guide you to that next step? Coaching has a more formal structure, which is a result of many coaches, you know, charging for their services, unlike mentors. So a coach is somebody that you want to make sure that you uh, you actually get when you really want to break that ceiling, guys. Well, yeah. And so Canoe says, we need both a mentor and a coach. Yes, we absolutely do. We absolutely do. The difference is, is that a mentor is somebody that stays with you for long term. And a coach is usually somebody that maybe for a certain period of time, during the time that you're growing to this point, they're, they're with you. And then you'll find that once you're there, if your coach doesn't keep growing, then they, you might need to find a different coach. So it's really important to hire a coach that has a coach. Let me repeat that. It's critically important for you to hire a coach that has a coach. Because if your coach is not growing, you're not growing. And that's really important, excuse me. So let me talk about some elements of coaching. So training and upskilling. 
Upskilling means that they're going to take your skills from where they are and they're going to help you to move it forward. As opposed to advising and guiding, a coaching focuses more on training and upskilling you and your skills to help you develop that winning mindset. A coach can help you increase your self-awareness, identify your needs for improvement and your areas of improvement, and challenge, my friends, challenge the assumptions that may be holding you back from achieving your goals. They're going to pull those skeletons out of the closet. They're going to make you think about things that you don't really want to think about. You would rather just close the door and leave those things there. A coach challenges you to think beyond where you really are. That's why coaching is often used for leadership skills, right? And they may train you in the art of questioning to equip you to manage others better, right? So open-ended questions. So that's really important. And the difference between mentoring and coaching is in a mentorship relationship, you as the mentee drive the conversation. Whereas a coach, a coach drives the sessions. Unlike a mentoring dynamic, a coach is more likely to drive the sessions. They're going to ask you discovery questions that can trigger an emotional response. You may not like them. The coaches are, you know, you may actually get tired. It's like, oh my God, it's my coach again. Oh, you know. Um, and if you say that, that's a good coach, guys. That's a good coach. In coaching a client, <clears throat> that coach is making you take responsibility for your success. And the coaching can happen in a one-on-one. -on -one, it can happen in group coaching. It can happen in a membership course setting. And it can happen in a membership. A business coach, my friends, is a type of consultant that provides an outside perspective for you and your business. They're going to help you address not only business issues, but more of personal nature issues that are stopping you from moving forward in your business. They help you become a more fulfilled person. And that's their task, guys. So as an entrepreneur specifically, you will always need a coach if you always want to grow. Now, what's important to know as well is, are you a solopreneur? Are you a micro business owner? Or are you a small business owner? This has relevance, guys, because you need to know how to hire the right coach for you. There's a lot of people that are coaches, but they don't work one-on-one -on -one with solopreneurs and they don't work with micro business owners. So you've got to know the difference. A solopreneur is a person that's in business by themselves. They don't have a team. They don't, and by team, I mean, they don't have a marketing person. They don't have a, you know, an email person. They don't have... That's important. They don't have a, a CPA. They don't have a bookkeeper. They don't, you know, that's important. And a micro business owner, guys, is a business owner that has from you yourself, that is from one person to nine to 10 people that work in your team. So you're a micro business owner if you have, you know, 10 or less people. You become a small business owner when you have 10 or more people. So the relevance is important when you're hiring the right coach because there's a lot of people that call themselves a small business coach. I don't. I'm not a small business coach. I could be, but I prefer to niche down to be the coach for the solopreneurs and the micro business owner. And it's so funny because so many people ask me, what's a micro business owner? And it's really important for you to understand that, you know, what it is. So, all right, guys. Well, this has been a little bit longer than I expected. Had a little bit of trials and tribulations getting on. But I hope you found value in learning this. And if so, 
share this. Please share this post. Send me some love. Tell me you got hashtag value and then share it. Tag somebody. Share it out so that they can learn from it as well. And as well, if you are listening to this on the podcast, guys, then I'm going to invite you to take the entrepreneurial archetype test because this is going to be eye-opening for you. If you're an entrepreneur, it's going to be very important for you to understand who you are. What kind of an entrepreneur are you? It's a three to four minute quick little quiz that I could, that I put together so I could help you know, entrepreneurs move to that next level. Then I would love you to come back and in the comments below, let me know what your quiz archetype is. And like, again, if you're listening to this podcast on the podcast show, Mujer de Éxito Unbounded, find the link below. Make sure to click that link and grab your cheat sheet, five skills you need to learn to get unstuck Build your team and create your community, guys. So once again, this is Marty Angel, Latina business coach, wishing you a great day. Gracias por estar aquí. Love you guys. Have a great, great day. And I will see you on the next lesson, guys.